It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. On days like these, kids like me are in their house trying to kick stupid skeleton butt. Hello, people of the internet world, Randy Yellock here with what may be the final installment to my Undertale review series. I know, I know, you're all sad that it's almost over. No, 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 you aren't. Anyway, those of you who have never done a genocide run may be thinking, Randy Yellock, Randy Yellock, what do you do in a genocide run? Good question, Randy Yellock Jr. Why, you kill absolutely everyone in the entire underground. And what by absolutely everyone in the underground could I possibly mean? I mean... Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Randy Yock, you're a terrible person for killing all those innocent people. I'd just like to point out that in past runs, I haven't exactly been the best person either. First, in my neutral run, I killed almost every minor monster until I got to the core, and that was basically just because I got lazy. And in pacifist run, I don't even know what I did wrong, but there's probably something I did bad in it anyway. Oh wait, maybe dying a lot. Oh yeah, I'm also in a hospital at some point. That might have to do with something bad, right? Like, maybe, DRUGS! I'm the murderer of about... Uh, just let me check Undertale Wiki right here real quick, and it's about... Um... 101 different people. How could I possibly get any worse? Oh yeah, I also destroyed the entire world. I should probably go check on that. I may have forgotten about that. I think the real question here is, did I enjoy Genocide Run more than Pacifist Run? While Pacifist Run was amazing and I got the true ending and I got to see why you should never do drugs, Genocide Run was much, much easier. Now, I know that isn't exactly true due to Undying the Undying and Sands, which took an incredibly long amount of time to be- <laughs> But in comparison to the Pacifist Run, it was much less time consuming. That's probably because I have no friends. Or basically killed all potential ones. And according to Sans, <laughs> in the pacifist run, all of the battles were much more time consuming, mostly because I only had 20 HP and I had to spare each of them to get the true ending. In comparison to the genocide run, much more time consuming. I mean, in Pacifist, I had to do spare, mercy, make friends, mercy, spare, make more friends, and potentially destroy an elevator. But in Genocide, I didn't have to do that because I was too busy killing everything and everyone. And now that I think about it, that actually doesn't sound all that good. Eh. The gameplay was the same, with the exception of characters treating you differently, such as Papyrus, Flowey, and ultimately Sans. The need to even buy items is very slim, as you get a lot of health from the snowman that you brutally murder, and all the items that you steal from the shopkeeper in Snowden. And then there's the fact that you have enough health to survive, and at least until you get to Sands and have to buy a bunch of stuff from Burger Pants at Metaton's place. Then, instead of getting your usual pep talk by Sands, you get your butt kicked by him until you finally beat him after about 
three hours. Yeah. And then you get an absolutely beautiful ending. Wanna see a sneak peek? But, in the end, I enjoyed it. I'd play it again if I absolutely had to. So expect limited Undertale videos in the future. I have moved on. I have grown so much. I... I really need new material. Oh. Oh no. Uh. 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 Choo! Ah! Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Feel free to subscribe and like and comment and all that stuff and maybe even leave like some ideas for new material in the comment section. Have a great day and see you next time on Randy Ock.